Henry here with Late to Gaming. Today I'm doing a quick look at the Paper Trail demo. I'm playing this as part of Steam's Next Fest. different folds to solve puzzles and to kind of navigate through the world. Um, so the game is developed and published by Newfangled Games, scheduled for release sometime in 2024. And that's about all that I know about it at this point. Um, so let's just kind of jump in, get a look at it, and see uh, what we think. So I am playing with keyboard and mouse. I suspect that's all that may not be all that supported. At the very least, I think it would be the best way to play this game. So it's wanting me to click here. Okay, so we move by clicking, which you know, pretty obvious, I suppose. Well, not not necessarily. It could be a keyboard control. Either way, uh, Paige, you're awake. Did you hear the storm? Looks like the lighthouse got struck by lightning. Jimmy didn't come home last night either. He was out late fishing for eels. Let's head west across the bridge and see how he's holding up. Alright, so I'm gonna go check on my brother, huh? Okay. So I'll move here. Thanks. Hello there, it's me. Across the river. I came for a spot of eel fishing and got stranded. Help a weary fisherman back across, would you? I'm not going to read all this dialogue. Probably, I might. Who knows? Okay, so... Wait, what? It's telling me to do this. any sense. I had no way of knowing there was a another bridge up there that was complete. See, I would have thought that I would fold it um, horizontally to just get rid of that middle section that was uh, had a problem. That's strange. The storm also hit the woods over to the east. Maybe you could go check on the mod too. Sure. Okay. Also, this is weird to me. So I folded it to fix it, and when I unfolded it, it's still fixed. It, it, I'm already kind of feeling a little uncertain about the mechanics of this game. It, it's not at all what I would have expected. Okay, maybe, maybe that's a bit of a exaggeration, but I certainly am going to need to feel like I understand these mechanics to really be able to use them to solve these puzzles. Okay, so here's the mod. Oh, we're living on pine cones all day, huh? Cause the landslides, you can't get out. Okay. So I suppose that's this. There's also a tree it looks like it's been cut. So it's telling me to move to here. And then to fold. Yeah, so so now I'm just basically gonna fold a section that again something I can't see. I'm gonna fold it over so that path that I don't think would exist because this is solid 
So why would there be a path on the other side? Where we're going to do that? So let me get over to here. And then I guess I'm going to... So now what am I going to do? Oh, going up to here. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to fold it back. And now I can get to her. Okay. Can you also find a way to the old lot house down south? We just the keepers built a moat to keep the riffraff out. Nobody's seen him in years. Uh, why am I going to check on him if I wouldn't see him in years? And how has this helped the ant? She still can't get out because this one didn't stay in place when I folded it back. As you can tell, these the mechanics in this are not just aren't setting well with me. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm sure let's go to the south. So down here, I suppose. But it's telling me to fold this down. And that just creates a path up and around this broken section of track. Okay, fine. Again, no reason. I would have known there was something up there. And then we'll fold this section over. I was, I was literally just over here to the right. That is not what was over there. This, these puzzles in my mind are completely nonsense. There's no way that I can see to logically look at at this and make any sense of it. Maybe other people will have a different view, but I'm not seeing it at all. So this one, it wants me to go diagonal. I mean, sure, I can see the outlines. I know that's what it wants me to do because this is a tutorial. I guess the problem is there's a section of the, the dock or whatever that's out. There's also a boat right here. Why don't I just go and drag the boat over and, and get to it that way? But no, instead, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to walk down to get to the lighthouse. Now we're going to fold it back. Alright, yay. I did it. Now he's telling me about a cave up north. But of course I can't... Oops, I can't be there. That's the other thing. I can fold over other people. I can't fold over myself, which I mean I understand the latter part of that. Why is it okay to fold over other people? I, I could not tell you why that's why that's okay to do. I 
I don't know what other side I'm seeing. Alright, the it says other side, I guess that means what I'll see when I fall down. I think this is going to be a short one because I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do here and I don't care enough to keep trying to figure it out. Um, I don't have much more to add to what I've already said. I think the mechanics, the mechanics themselves I guess are fine but the, the actual logic behind these puzzles does not seem to be based in any sort of reality. It does, they don't make sense to me. There's no way that I can look at any of these situations and figure out what to do other than, than just grabbing you know, whatever edges I can grab and fold and keep trying until something actually works. And that's not a recipe for a puzzle game, that's a recipe for just, just some sort of random trial and error sort of game. Maybe, probably, I'm missing something obvious. The developer will probably, if they hear this, they'll probably think I'm an idiot. Someone that's already played through this will probably think I'm an idiot. And you're probably right, if that's the case. Uh, but this game is not for me. I have to be able to, I have to be able to actually see some logic about what I'm doing to be able to solve these puzzles. So. That's going to do our quick look of Paper Trail. Um, but again, it's, it's not for me. Um, but if you did happen to enjoy hearing me ramble about why I'm not a fan of this particular game, feel free to uh, subscribe, drop a comment if you'd like, if you think differently about this check back because I will be doing similar quick look videos for other demos uh, both during Steam's Next Fest and hopefully in the future as well. Thanks for listening.